everyone. Uh, I've got another die set from Gummy Pan I haven't used before, just uh, just here. And it's of a music stand and a violin. So I just want to make a simple card with the music stand, with the violin just kind of leaning against it. And I found this really old, I believe it's a stamping up. Stamped. Stamped by design. Oh, it's not stamping up. Or is that the... That might be the shop. What's underneath here? It's an Art Impressions one. It's an Art Impressions. And it just says music. And I have a fancy for putting that sideways on like that. So it was, I don't know, £7 something. That's a lot of money, isn't it, for a stamp? Anyway, let's get going. I've got my panel. My card blank is behind me somewhere. I have cut out two stands. I've cut out three violins and I've kept a background of one of the cutouts just as somewhere to put it while I do some colouring. So, um, this is a stampleration set of odds and ends for like mixed media stuff. And I've just chosen a little one like this as a grounding stamp for the for the music stand. So, I think we'll just kind of get going. First of all, I'm going to join two of these together and then I'm going to cannib <laughs> cannibalise the third one um, to put an extra partial extra layers on. So there we go. Let's just see. Put this back in here. Right, this one goes on top of that one. We've got a uh, oldest grandchild with us at the minute. She's, uh, Daisy's here, she's studying really hard for her upcoming exams this, this summer, her GCSEs. So uh, she comes up every now and again to have a little breather and a chat and uh, back down she goes to work, bless her. I hope she does really, really well. So this one I'm going to colour violin coloured, which is the, the wood. This one I'm going to cut up because the fingerboard here is is black and the thing that holds the strings, I've said it got a special name, is very often black, as is the chin rest. So those are going to be cut out and added because they are an extra dimension on an actual violin. So let's just do the the colouring of the, the main body of the, the violin first. I've got here, I've got vintage walnut, what's that one? Rich walnut. Don't think there's a lot of difference really. We have vintage and I'm just going to put this down the side. I should have put it on a sticky mat, really, to get it to stay still, shouldn't I? Okay. Now, the one I often like to go with this one is hazelnut truffle, which is here. And I'm going to use the broad end. And just go all over it. I love to watch programmes of um, people, you know, YouTubes of... of chaps and well I haven't seen any ladies doing it restoring violins they're so clever right there's my fiddle colored in now let's do this bit um there's going to be three bits that are going to be black so the fingerboard is going to be black as far as there the chin rest is going to be black and that bit's going to be black. Okay, probably could have cut it out of black card really, couldn't I? Never mind, not to worry. Right, let's just sort this little lot out. Often it, it doesn't take much to, to do this because the things are already 
so deeply embossed they actually cut through. So if you want to separate them up, nothing could be simpler. I might just kind of hold this in my fingers without cutting my fingers off. Do I want to separate this or do I put them on together? Perhaps I'll put them on together. Oh, I've decided to separate them. Right, we'll shorten this bit. There we go. So I need this piece. piece and that piece. Okay, I'll put some glue on the violin. Up the fingerboard. Oh, I can't think what the name of that is. And on the chin rest. Right. fingerboard they're so detailed and beautiful this little bit I think originally the the wood was ebony for these parts really dark Really dark wood. There we go. Right. There's our violin. There's a tiny bit of white there. Would you believe it? I hope I can touch that without touching the brown. There we go. It's better. details wonderful absolutely wonderful oh, look lovely really nice and if you do cut them up like this you can get the divisions of color so much more neat done much more neatly all right that goes away now i want to color just the top layer of this here's a something or other or shall I just I just stick them together first I think let me just run a bit of glue around this there we go Lovely, isn't it beautiful? So delicate, absolutely lovely. I was wondering about um, doing it sort of silvery, but uh, I think I might go just for black. Could have cut it out for black easily, couldn't I? Never mind. I'll get a nice sheen off, off the fact that I've coloured it. Right, that's going to go like that. That's going to go like that. No music on it. So, onto my um, actual card panel. 
I want to stamp this word music. I'm going to get my mouse mat out because it, it does stamp more easily. Here I've got a anti-static tool. It's going to run down the side there. And here's my Versamark. I'm going to ink this up. I think this is getting in need of a bit of um, re-inking music. And I'm just going to put this down the side like this. Didn't realise it was an art impression. It's interesting. Okay. A little embossing powder. I found I've got a small pot of um, indigo blue embossing powder. Their names are wonderful. This one's called Hi Ho Silver. Do you remember the Lone Ranger? What he always used to say Hi Ho Silver, away. Wonderful. There we go this back into its little pot. There we go. Hi-ho, silver. Away. Wonderful. Right, I'll whiz this up. I'm just going to heat up um, the embossing powder. Right. Now, for a little grounding for the music stand, I'm going to put it just here and I'm going to use hickory smoke for this. This is one of the um, stamplerations. It's just nice to give a bit of a, a grounding to objects in your pictures or your designs, whatever you care to call them. So, let's have a look and see how they look. I think that's quite nice. Um, I'm just wondering whether to give this a little coat of clear embossing just to give it a bit of shine. Let me just try it and see how we how we get on with that. Just a bit of clear clear shine. Let's stamp it with my versa mark. Okay. Bring back the paper. go. I think this is where these are going to come in really handy. Right, just going to heat this. That looks a little uneven, so I'm going to give it one more coat. Let's just see. Looks a little blotchy and I think if I do a second coat it'll smooth it out a bit. Let me just put this this way. Okay. Let's try again. That's done the job. Looks lovely. Pleased with that. Right, just do a little bit of assembly and we'll be in business. Very, very simple card, but I think it's going to do the do the trick for what I had in mind. So I'm going to add a little glue to the back of this.
There's my music stand. And I think that's the side I wanted. Just like that. Um, I think I'm going to put this on with, with glue dots. I think it will be, because it's quite thick, I think I'll, I'll use the, the glue dots. These are quite large ones too. So, one behind there. And one behind that bit. Just a dab on the scroll. There we go. There we go. Now, card face. Which I haven't actually folded yet, but we'll put this on there. I think that'll look quite nice. So there we go, yet another one. Oh, I like this. The fun I get from these gummy pan dies is, is just incredible. Absolutely love it. So, uh, that embossing worked really well. Excellent. So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I do hope you will subscribe and uh, like the videos.